Hey everybody and welcome back to the Little Mind Catchers channel. This is Mommy and I am here to answer some questions finally. I have been getting so many questions about things that I might have discussed over on my channel, things that I've discussed within videos and I should have made a video for it. So this is that video. All questions answered, all of the ones at least that I get a lot. Okay, the number one question that I get a lot of is how do I get my daughter's or son's hair to grow as long and as thick as your daughter's hair? Honestly, guys, I don't have any recipe or magical charm that I can tell you works foolproof, okay? All I can tell you is patience, patience, patience patience it is a lot of work so anyone who tells you natural hair is just super easy and all of that stuff it was a lot of work for my own hair and it is double the work for theirs i would say that the reason why their hair uh took basically just took flight and start growing because they didn't come out with a whole lot of hair i guess they were just about average hair for babies but you know as they got a little older i was scared at first uh especially for my nadia she was very shallow along the sides she you know her hair seemed to be very fine and i said oh well she's gonna have more fine curly type hair and she won't have the thick bushy hair because gabby's hair started catching very quickly so i said she may not have the hair like gabby had and i was prepared for that but I treated her hair the same as how I treated Gabby's hair. I took care to get the wide tooth comb. I took care to spray the hair with water first. I didn't want to hurt them. I didn't want, you know, I knew what it felt like growing up and your parent just says, come on, let's comb some hair. And they didn't know what we know now. Thank goodness for YouTube and things like that, that we know that spray a little water on their hair first. The little mist bottles, you can get them for 99 cents in Walmart. Spray a little water on the hair, let it saturate for a few seconds, count to 30. Let the hair feel that water, let it penetrate, and then start combing from the ends and working your way up, okay? So it took a lot of patience. Also, I didn't rush straight into natural hair products. I started using natural hair products on Gabby when she was 18 months old. 18 months old so from birth to 12 months old i did exactly what the doctors told me to do they tell you to kind of stick with the kid lines like johnson and johnson things like that the only thing i used on her hair as far as moisture was concerned was olive oil which i felt like was one of the lightest oils or the one that didn't have you know I, I, I figured it didn't irritate her as much as some of the other oils like the uh, Jamaican black castor oil is a little stronger in my opinion. So just olive oil and even a little Vaseline because she had a little cradle cap. I didn't um, take a comb and try to scrape her scalp. The doctor said it would just go away little by little on its own. So I just put a little Vaseline on her scalp and that's what I did. And... This is what, you know, I got today. Uh, 18 months old, we started with the first shampoo I remember purchasing was the Coconut and Hibiscus line from Shea Moisture. I have um, some videos on that on my channel as well as over here. I, I think I put them on a playlist over here. But um, that's what I started using. I just did a little shampooing and a little conditioning and as uh, her hair grew and thickened, basically the hair told me it needed more. So at first it was just shampoo and condition and then the thicker the hair got, it was like, oh, I have to find something else. I got a deep condition. I have to be able to get through this child's hair because it was thickening fast. Um, another product, and I did do a video on it, was the Black Jamaican Castor Oil. I finally introduced that to her scalp when I used it on mine. And she was about three and a half. And I still diluted it by mixing it in my Blue Magic's grease. 
okay so there is a video on that and I'll link that down below I started using it that way because it is a strong um, oil and I noticed putting it on my head without mixing it or diluting it into another type of oil it made me itch it, it was uh, just a little irritating to my scalp I was itching a lot and I said the only thing that I'm using that's new is the black Jamaican castor oil and it was strong it was the dark one so I said let me mix it up and that's what we had we started doing okay so for all of those ladies who contact me and say, oh, I have a baby that's five months old, six, seven, eight months, your baby doesn't even have a texture yet. I would say leave all of that stuff alone. Stick with something very mild, very, very mild. Don't go and get involved in deep conditioning. They don't need it. Deep conditioning, no, not a child that young. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Wait until they're at least 12 months going into you know that eight 18 month mark and then start introducing mild products uh lots of companies have kid products so you know try it out there but before 12 months old you're still having the cradle cap you're still having the car seat where the um you know you have the little patch of missing hair all of that is happening before 12 months so give it some time don't, you know, don't rush it because I, I didn't do that. All of this hair happened, I would say at about two years old and higher. The hair just start growing like wildfire. And another thing that I do, I leave the hair alone. Technically, I leave it alone. I don't uh, bother their hair so much. I don't comb all week long. When their hair starts looking fuzzy or unkept, it's okay they're kids they can look fuzzy for a few days I'll spray a little bit of a mixture maybe a little bit of um oil and leave-in conditioner all mixed up with a little bit of water I'll spray it on their their braids I'll put a little bit of grease in between their their braids and let them go let them play okay so the less manipulation the better I left their hair alone and it grew I left rubber bands alone and it grew you rarely see my kids with rubber bands you would you rarely see that um, anything that caused any type of tension and things like that I try my best not to do it now I do uh, tutorials and things like that just to show you guys um styles that you can do for a special occasion that's normally when i do a lot of that styling with the rubber bands the updos things that kind of pull the hair a little bit i know they're only going to wear it for a few hours and i'm cutting that rubber band off and i never let them sleep with a rubber band in their hair because of the friction during the night it's going to rub 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 and pretty soon you're going to wear out uh that that hair if you're a person that ever wore a bun, I remember when I was pregnant with Nadia, I used to wear my hair back in a bun a lot. Right in the center of where that bun was became this short. And that's because of the tension in that rubber band. So imagine if you keep the kids' hair in rubber bands all the time. So these are just uh, basically the answers to the most asked questions. I, it's about five questions and I think I answered them all and also genetics genetics it's a possibility that your child will have fine thin hair and that's okay you just want it to be healthy okay you want to trim those ends every now and then you want to deep condition you want to give them just the same amount of attention that you give your hair all right so it's okay if they have thin or fine hair you just keep doing what you're doing as long as it's healthy all right you may have a child with very very coarse hair deep condition a lot you should be able to get through the hair a little bit better leave-in conditioners and deep conditioners are going to be your friend if you have a child with very coarse hair i learned that with gabby her hair was something to tackle in the beginning but i've learned her hair it took time and that's something that a lot of us don't have a lot of but it took time so if you're willing to commit to this journey with your daughters 
just realize you're going to have to have patience, okay? It's not going to happen overnight. You're going to have to have patience. And it will happen for you. They will have uh, beautiful, healthy hair. Not all of us are going to have long hair. I'm still waiting on bra strap length myself. And it's four years for me. So it's just going to take a little patience. But I'm okay with my length. I'm fine. My hair is healthy. I'm happy with it. It just takes time, okay? Never uh, put yourself neck and neck with anybody. Never compare. Don't, don't make it competitive. Let's just work on it and make it healthy. All right, that's it. All right, if there's any other questions, ask them down below. But those were the questions I get absolutely on every video, even on my channel, the same questions. So hopefully that answered it. Hopefully I'm not over 15 minutes, and I know I am, but it's going to be a lot of cutting. Talk to you guys later. Cyber kisses, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.